Hi and welcome to Infinite Realms. This is the developer vlog version 2022.0.5. This is an exciting one for me. Not just the number of new and updated features, but the features themselves got me hyped. I rewrote the Fog of War system from scratch for better performance, more features and to eliminate all the old system's flaws. Also, there is a new Mist and Fog system, allowing you to create a totally customizable Mist, Fog, Poison Cloud or Dust Storm. And finally, there is the new Soundstage system for easier sound setup and more customization. My name is Danny, I am the software developer on the Infinite Realms team. Let's do this! Before we get into the other features, let's get straight to the visual highlight of the latest update, the Mist and Fog system. We had already added weather templates in a previous update, in which haze and fog are present. This effect is a direct part of the weather system and static within the corresponding weather template. On the pro side, it should be mentioned that this fog is quite performant. The new Mist and Fog system is independent of this and is based on the same volumetric fog we used in the past for our Fog of War. Unfortunately, the system is not very performant on older and weaker computers, which is why I rewrote the Fog of War as well. Anyway, in the weather tab, there is now a new button to open the Mist and Fog configuration. At the top left, the system can first be activated. There are a number of settings which I would like to show you briefly. On the left side, you find brightness. This is where you can set the luminosity of the fog. Especially in night scenes, the default value can be too high. All settings around noise texture have an effect on the general appearance of the fog, how fluffy and patchy or compact it is, for example. In the upper right corner, you find vertical position. Here you can set where the center of the fog volume is relative to the ground level, which you can set in the scenario tab. Vertical depth indicates how thick the fog cloud is. So the fog can be configured as a thick soup you are stuck in or as a thin layer of ground fog. Density speaks for itself. It indicates the density of the fog. The wind multiplier can be used to set how much the wind in the scene affects the fog. Thus it is possible to have a static fog with a storm or a relatively fast moving cloud with little wind. Turbulence is the setting for the vertical bubbling of the fog. With this you can make it a bit more dynamic. Last but not least are the color and highlight settings. With mist color you can adjust the basic color of the fog. So not only simple water vapor is possible, but for example a magical poisonous green cloud, smoke or a dust storm. Highlight is a quite subtle effect with the system, which depends heavily on the ambient light. So don't be disappointed if it has little effect under the circumstances in the scene. As mentioned in the last video, I have completely rewritten and slightly expanded the Fog of War system. There are now new brush shapes, besides the old round brush, now also a rectangular and two hexagonal ones. Furthermore, the new system is much more performant and in contrast to the old volumetric fog, it is 100% opaque. The token system has also been rudimentarily integrated. Thus, there is now the option to let the fog be erased by tokens. More settings will be added in the future. Currently, the fog grows back semi-transparent if it was cleared by a token before. The third big change is to the sound system. Instead of a rigid selection of one ambience, music, battle and weather clip each, there is now a completely customizable sound stage. Any number of clips can be loaded and mixed. The volume and sound tab has also been completely redesigned. Every single slider now handles a whole category of sounds. There is also a master volume control, mute buttons and three sliders for basic effects.
By the way, the sound effects are not applied to the music, but only to the environment. Finally, when designing the sound system, I took great care to make it expandable. We still have several ideas on how to make it even more flexible and useful in the future. It's about dynamic sounds for tokens, creatures, characters, magic and weapons. Also one-shot jingles and the ability to save and load sound stages independently of scenarios. If that's still not enough for you, you can find the whole developer vlog playlist here. Here you can find an older tutorial about the Fog of War in Infinite Realms. And you should definitely click here if you don't have a subscription yet. Have a good time and see you in the next one.